family, it's your boy Ramon from Out of Energy. Today, I still got this ugly ass guy with me, you know what I'm saying? He's still here. I know y'all seeing him like crazy in the content. I'm putting all his links in the description, you know what I'm saying? To his, his Genius Snap Productions. I'm putting that in there. Y'all better go subscribe to him. Like, go watch that because we got videos. videos. I do all that creative content, direction. All that. Check me out. Big time, you know what I'm saying? So, little sis is in the back. Shonda, yeah, caught you on camera. Oh, that's pure. Ugly. That is pure. I got her straight on camera. She didn't even look. She said, oh, God. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, guys, we got to go. What the hell, niggas? I'm with my dog for Hold on. I'm like, hold on. Where you going, nigga? Don't be running from the camera. Uh, but we just pulled up, said I don't want the homies and shit. But what? I just seen the funniest shit up. <laughs> Bro, it's a Buick Honda. A Buick Hyundai. I gotta show y'all this. Hold on. All right, can y'all see this right now? What I am looking at? I am looking at a Buick Hyundai right now. Come on, now. It looked. It definitely looked like a Buick from the back, and two because of the rims and because of the the, the top thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The top, the little. Well, it's a drop top Hyundai. Because you know most of the Buicks used to do That's that great. shit. They used to put that shit on there. Yeah. I ain't never seen no no Hyundai like this before. This stuff. <laughs> The Buick Hyundai. I feel like the wheels in the back and the front is different too. Or am I just tweaking? Now you tweaking, you tweaking. They, they but those, like it, you tweaking. You know, yeah, you tweaking, like you tweaking. But them is Buick, them <laughs> definitely. Say, they put some, some, some 18s and some 16s on that bitch. <laughs> they definitely some Buick wheels though. That shit crazy. Matter of fact, they go a Buick right up here. In the stinking Grandpa Lincoln right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's, it, 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 are we lying here? You see They it? made it. They had a kid. Say, if the, <laughs> hey, that's funny as hell. If the, the Lincoln Buick. and the Buick had a kid, it'd be this Hyundai right here. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> oh, oh with shit. The, with the soft top. Oh, God. It's a convertible, too. The Ooh. thing top off. That Corvette over there sexy, though. I ain't gonna lie to that. That C5 over there good. Looks Sorry. good. It tripping. They ain't trapping. Man. That's cause you ain't a young old nigga, young old nigga. All right. Yeah, guys. So we finna do a couple of things. And yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, we like y'all handle some business. Then we'll be back in tune with y'all with the next part. On oh my, on oh my soul. On oh my soul. On oh my mama. <laughs> That's on <all> my mama. <laughs> Goofy, boy. Goofy. Hey, shit. All right, guys. See you in a minute. Hey. hey. Actually, do something with my talents, and I started. I built a small studio in the garage, and it's just been going ever since. That's good. Mm -hmm. uh, so, that entrepreneurial spirit, you know, what led you to say, you know, let me start my let me start my studio space in my garage? What drives you to get to that point? Um, a lot of it was, you know, when I was younger, uh, I ain't gonna say too young, you know, early, late teens. Uh, me and my friends, we would they would come over to my house uh, and we would make music in my bedroom. And, um, you know, I was always the brains behind the music. I was always the one to do the recording, do the editing. And obviously we didn't have the technology that we got now. It was, it was a lot harder, you had to manually do everything. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was always the one putting all that stuff together. And I thought I did fairly well. No experience, no training or anything, just really looking at what I wanted and just figuring out a way to, to make it happen. Wow. That's my way. It's like reassurance. It's, you know? it's the reassurance. So that's kind of my way of steering people to work with me. What's up, Energy Family? So we back, we in the studio. Got my, mm -hmm. my, my brother Will. Mm -hmm. This is who I started with. And see, he, he, he got the whole studio mm -hmm. now. He started, he started in the garage. And now he just... <laughs> He here. He doing his thing. You know hey, what I'm saying? Man. You know, because of work, a lot of sacrifice. He just interviewed him and shit. So you know, we getting this all on the channel and stuff. He, this was first time on the vlog. You know, been on the vlog. But he didn't even know I was vlogging. That's crazy. I gotta start seeing you that now. You gotta subscribe to all the. Send me the links. So no problem. It's Send more of a car shit too. Car show type 
type blog shit, but I kind of incorporate my life as well. Okay. And it's just crazy. Took the the stuff I did for music and just now using that spotlight, putting it into the blog and then seeing that it's a it's, it's a space there. Okay. You know, I'm not as active as I was on music anymore. I stepped more back to the back of the scenes. So I was like, you know what? It's still people. It's, this shit is not normal for everybody. Right. This they don't just come. No guys just that has a studio and that has poor studios that got history and got connections. You know all types of types of deals and this is normal for me so i can, right. can make a call hey we what you on Ooh, i go call twist i go call do a dive hey That's what right. you on? this That's is right. normal for me and it came to the point now it's like you know what let me show this to people these right. cars these different lifestyles this should show them and show them like my major thing is work like you said in the interview is about remaining humble in this but also i want to show them that it's trials and tribulations in it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like the, throughout this journey, like it didn't. They see the car. They, they see, see all this in this in my vlogs. I'm showing them more of like the shit that I'm going through day to day basis, where cars breaking down and you buying a new house. As yep. you buying a new house, and you like, what the fuck? I just like, what the hell? How, and, yeah. and you still invested. See, I don't even tell them all the stuff that I'm invested in. That I got money tied up in different places, and we gonna get into that more in different videos. But just showing them. Real life and like how you know you've seen it how a lot of people that come in the studio they look up to me a lot of people they used to kind of come in the studio they like man Ramon woo and they they always want how did Ramon do it and you've seen I was just focused and I came to the studio, studio every absolutely. day just me and you absolutely you know what I'm saying just absolutely. me and you and and he believed in me you know what I'm saying he believed in my vision and, and seen what I had before anything was anything you know what I'm saying before I even really believed in myself really I had I believed in myself. What you gotta understand is like you, it, we, everything. We're gonna have to go over there and show them the poster still on the wall. Oh, we gotta show. Okay, we gotta show them that. Like I believed in myself, but it was to an extent like I, I needed confirmation, yeah. and he gave that confirmation to me. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So to see where he's at, if you guys don't know Embion Studios, you gotta. I'm gonna put the link in the description so you guys make sure you go book your studio session for artists, for videographers, whatever you. Are. Man, he looking for videographers. He looking for engineers. Hey, you need a job. Look. Look, this is this the man you want to holler at, you know? Yep. And, and he got, look, this is this the classroom, man. This the, mm-hmm. So, look, he's he teaching in here. He got stuff over there. He got all the engineering stuff right there to teach you how to do it. So, don't don't say there's no opportunities. And that's what I want to express to him. That it, it, it's, it's people out there to give those opportunities. You just got to go for that's it. That's right. You just got to go that's for right. it. So, definitely. so we're going to definitely take them to the other studio so they can yeah. see that. Let's do this then. All right. <laughs> Big legendary right oh, there. Like what that day say right there? That's March 25th, 2017. That's that's oh, yeah. That's really when a lot of my life changed. Can't lie. A lot of big shit was happening. A lot, a lot of big you. shit, man. This is the the beginning. Oh, okay. Okay. A lot of shit. Oh, damn. We even got that <laughs> more on the wall right there. <laughs> damn. Big legendary with the legends themselves, do or die. That's crazy. How you start from nothing. Oh, I can't forget the juice world. Can't forget the juice world, Platt. What is it now? It's more than four times platinum now, right? It's like eight times platinum now. Look at him. Yeah, oh, another one. Yeah. Just motivation, that's all. You gotta show them other people of our color that's out here in Chicago especially, because everywhere else they, they showing stuff like this. But here in Chicago, you have no one that's really blogging this type of stuff that is actually black entrepreneurs out here. And I'm trying to show something positive now. They're like, look, we can all do this. We just gotta all stick together no matter what you claim, whatever that, that shit don't matter. Yep. You know what I'm saying? There's exactly. ways to get money out here. And I feel like we kind of changing that way in Chicago now. It's, it's coming, Yeah. it's slow. I feel like- it's, slow. it's just right now, everybody want to be the man. And that's right. the problem that we got. Everybody want to be the man instead of understanding the process of, you know, you know, I feel like if, if we all, if we all put somebody else on our back and that person was way up there, because they was on our back, that gives us more of an opportunity. Because now we're able to reach what he can reach through him. Right. Even though he on our backs. Right. So now we actually have more reach because we're connected to the same person who's at the top. But instead, we all want to be at the top. So we all stay at this level. We all doing this. Instead of saying, all right, bro, get up there. All right, bro, get up there. All right, bro, get up there. Okay, cool. Now you can touch the ceiling. Touch the ceiling for me. Send that up, mm-hmm. send that up, send that up. Even though I ain't up there with you, I, I got the same power as you. 
Right. We don't think like that. Right. All we worry about is we gotta have everybody doing this. Yeah. And then you go to these other cities and they everybody on their backs. Everybody on right. their backs. So that's the key. You could just feel that energy. Like everybody support each other. Mm-hmm. In some way. You know, to, uh, so you know, I we can't I can't control the city. I can't I can't make people think like that. Mm-hmm. But I do try to at least my circle build that in them. Right. At least the cl- the artists that come here, the engineers that's here, at least try to instill that in them. Right. And if, even if that's a small segment of what can be, you know, in the city, I don't care. All we can do is control that. And maybe other people can see that and be inspired by it. Yeah. And that's one of the goals. If people can see that we as a unit can grow and be big, maybe they'll want to be part of that. Right. Maybe they won't be thinking like, oh, we could do that too. That's cool you can do that too. There's no problem. Matter of fact, I'll support you if you're doing that. Because I'm going to still feel beneficial to being part of your growth. Yeah. But people don't think like that. They want to be the man. They want to look down on somebody who's doing something big. You know, and it's unfortunate. And that's, I, and that's why I really want to document this. Because I got a lot of a lot of flat for this. Doing this, this, this vlog and stuff. Because, you know, where we come from, you can't be this vulnerable and this out. And open to the point of, I'm like, fuck all that. We need this. We need someone to show, like... Every other city, they got hard thugs in New York. They got hard thugs in LA. But guess what? They got this on film and they showing the, the trials and tribulations because at the end of the day, we all real people at the end of the day. And I feel like, what, what's wrong with being vulnerable? Sometimes you got to be a little vulnerable to show and relate to other people. And I feel like that's what I'm really trying to do with this and putting it more out there and putting using myself as that sacrificial lamb yep. for other people to come and say, you know what? Let's show, let me show the recipe and keys that I've been doing and using and shit. And maybe this can help that next person, you know? Maybe a person watching this was just the same way they was doing when they was watching my music videos. Hey, let me come to Envion's studio. Let me go record with Envion because Ramon is there recording. Now I'm getting to show them different aspects that it's, you just got to talk to people and you just, hey, and you think we can give them an idea. Let's, let's just do it because everything is trial and tribulation, you know? If, if someone is there, they have some option to do something. You just got to ask them, like, hey, can you help me out? You know, let's just go for it. And then, and then not just be so into myself like a lot of people in Chicago, like you said. Man, I'm going to just do this for me. This for me. No. Let me reach out to him. And I want to show that, like, hey. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, 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 I agree with his individuality. I think people should have their own personal aspirations and mm-hmm. things that they want to work towards. But stop thinking that. Uh, and you shouldn't be able to support somebody else just because you got your thing going. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Have your thing going. Be working on your thing. But it's okay to support somebody else's thing too. Right. Because you don't ever know what position they're going to be in by you supporting them. And since you supported them, they don't forget that shit. Yeah. Maybe they can help you grow that thing that you're really looking to grow. But instead, when you do the opposite and don't support because we don't want them to be bigger than us. And then now nobody's big. Right. We all small. And then you got somebody else who's more powerful just coming and just steal all our ideas and shit. Right. And that, there you go. That's how it works. So. All right. We gonna go on here and wrap that up. Just had to lock you in on that wheel. You good? You good? You good? You go on here? You go on here? All right, Will. All right. My brothers, my brothers. Love you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, MG family? So last night I didn't really get a chance to end the vlog, and today I was gonna end the vlog the next day. But check this out. It is definitely snow. I said that shit gotta go. We were just having a decent day yesterday. Now nah, snow outside, but yeah, guys. I just wanted to take this time to end the video. Uh, like, share, subscribe. More videos coming soon. Soon, more content coming soon. Just stay tuned. So, see you guys next time.